So you might have noticed that most of my cars are from the 90s. Um, I passed my driving test in 94. So that era of cars is right up my street. So that's that's what I like. 90, and well, 80s, 90s, that's where I'm at. I've got one car, the Alpha, which is 2007. It's about as new as I want to go, really. So what what 90s car collection would be complete without a Honda Civic or two? So with some trepidation, I'm gonna go pick up another project. So this is a 1998 Honda Civic EJ9. That means it's got a 1.4 litre engine that puts out roughly 90 brake horsepower. Not a lot. And then this one doesn't even go. But a little 1.4 litre is not going to cut it. I need at least 1.6 litres. And for that, I'm going to do an engine swap. The shell's pretty good. There's only one arch and a bit of sill that needs some work on it. But yeah, it's pretty good. And they always seem to fetch a lot of money as well. I don't know why. I've never really been a Honda person. Um, I don't really like the sound of them, but I'm going to give it a go. So once we've got it dragged back to base, this is what we've got. Look at that. It's a 16 valve engine. Doesn't go. A few little rusty bits here and there. It's, it's nothing major. That's a bit of a. That'll, that'll just warm it up. It'll pop out. I don't know about that. Yeah. Then uh, somebody kicked the wing mirror off when it was parked up. It's been stood since 2018. But look at it. It's original. Every, everything in it. Full service history. Two owners. The lot. I'm guessing this is all standard rust. Well, I can see. <laughs> oh, it's fell off. That's fell off. That looks to be. When you're buying a car that's been stood on an industrial estate for some time, you can guarantee. The guy said, I've been offered 300 pounds scrap for it because the cat's worth money. If somebody hadn't have already been in there and added away. So it might not have been the bargain of the century, but everything else works on it. Works great, sunroof works. The, the obviously near side door mirror doesn't work because that's on the floor in the car, but as Joshua demonstrates, things are working. Sixty-four thousand miles, magic. Now I found this all opened, and this these were all bent right back here. Uh, stuff like this. Stuff like this. Stuff like this. These wires were just twisted together. Mm. 
what I need is a running car that's got the engine I want in it. Obviously, I'd love a K20. That's not going to happen. I'd like a B16 or a B18. That's not going to happen either because they are crazy money. So it's going to have to be a D16, which is a 1.6. And I want a running car so I can just swap everything over and not have any dodgy wiring problems. So that means I need to find myself a donor car. So with a popular internet auction site, I came across this. It looks an absolute nail, but it's two owners, it's got full history, and it's got the D16 Y8 engine. After a crazy bidding war of going well overboard, I came away with this. A 1998 Honda Civic Coupe 1.6 ISR. Yep. But it dry it drives really well. Really nice to drive. 120 something brake horsepower. It's it's a good base to start from. It even came with a week's MOT left on it. And it's never going to go for another MOT ever again, looking at the underneath. But we'll get to that later. I was able to insure it on a temporary basis for about three days. I think it was about £30. That's pretty reasonable. And uh, drove it back the 70-odd miles back to uh, full boost HQ. So here she is, the donor, and it looks actually quite nice from here, but you know, from about every other angle, it looks horrendous. See, the front's not too bad. It's all good, apart until you get to that rear quarter, which has been replaced in the loosest term. But look at this. Stamped up by a Honda dealer from, from brand new all the way up to 70 something thousand and the first owner was Honda themselves Honda dealer in London they they used it for a year and then they sold it to um, its second owner which looked after it until the third owner um, who crashed it but anyway let's have a look inside what we've done to the coupe is made it a bit lighter inside right. she's empty of interior bar the driver's seat because I kind of need that and you can really see the extent of what's gone on in here Quality of work. Of that quarter. Look at that. Brilliant. <laughs> Love it. Just, just, yeah. Oh, yeah. So the decision has been made to. not continue with this because I thought it might be salvageable but it is seriously very not so now this has become probably the most expensive D16 swap ever but you know it is what it is I think I prefer the look of the coupe. I've got to say, I do like the look of the coupe. But it's 1100 and something kilos, and the hatch is only 1020 something kilos. 
So it's a no-brainer for the track that we're going to use the hatch. Just in what world is this repair even remotely acceptable? Look at that, you can see daylight through there. The sill's not even boxed in properly. And that, that there is part of the jacking point, which has got a lot missing from it. So come back and join us in part two, where we'll be having a closer look at these two and ripping this thing apart.